Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a glitch transition. Um, essentially, glitch transitions are meant to be impactful while also um, while transitioning into your um, next scene or, or section very efficiently or uh, fittingly. So, what I do is I usually have my pair clips. I have um, my vibe edit example I showed, or like my vibe beat and enough edit I showed um, in the example. I have uh, two just layers. So I have like one here. I think like I'll do like one like this and then that last three frames long or three or four frames long and here's another one like this and we can just cut them down into individuals if we need to. So first thing I do is I go to where I wanted to start. Um, I noticed that I want to get the color the white color out of the texture scene in the background with like the, with, I think that's the hill that they're on. Um, I think that's the hill that's next to the tunnel that they're under. So I wanna like, I'm gonna key that out. So what I'll do here to add a little bit of like light, light impact, like a light impact. So here, that's actually good too. Uh, my composition is 1440 by 1080 at 20 FPS, if anybody's wondering. So I'm gonna add um, a little bit of exposure I'm going to change the camera correction down a bit and I'm going to increase or not actually I'll not increase anything. I just turned on the camera thing. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the clip for this one because we need to do that. So I'm going to actually go like this. I'm going to um, put linear color key. I'm going to um, key out the white, the whitish part here. And as you can see, it's already keyed out. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually take the um, the adjustment layer and we're going to put a little bit of mosaic on it. So you could do S mosaic. I'll just do like regular mosaic because I'll put regular mosaic at like 120. So it actually look like it's, uh, yeah, like that, something like that. Yeah. We'll do that and then we'll do um, the next thing we'll do is we'll actually put some uh, hot spots on it or if you want to, you could do uh, not Luma, you can do image wipe, CC image wipe, it's the equivalent to um, Dissolve Luma from Sapphire. So I'm just going to turn this down and then I'm going to um, keep the mosaic there, but however, um, or actually, I might take the, yeah, no, take the mosaic off. Uh, we're going to put Venetian blinds on it um, and we're going to put this to like something like 40 and change the direction to 90 and then change the width to like something like 10. And then we're gonna put the um, uh, next stuff in. This is where the magic happens a little bit though. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'll do. I'm gonna take the first clip here. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take the second clip here. I'm gonna cut down the little bit here, and I'm gonna put it under. Right. What I'm gonna show you is something I I like to do um, when I'm doing glitch transitions. I like to key out the character here. And I like to put it under the keyed uh, area there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it under like that, and then I'm gonna actually do dissolve a luma or like the image wipe on one of these. I think it's I think it's um it's actually this one I did it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this will work too. But um I think it was not this one though. I believe it was the second clip. Let me see. And then I prod it up and um, yeah, hold on. Yeah, something like that, yeah, okay. So you can do something like this too and it'll work just as well. Um, something like this will work. And what you can do is, um, you can add a little bit of motion to this. I'm gonna add a little bit of motion, not add a solid, no. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of motion as well, just so it's um, somewhat so it kind of makes it like a real transition. So what I'll do to add some motion, I'll add some transform and some motion tile, and we'll go on with adding, adjusting the values and putting the mirrored edges on and all that good stuff. And the next thing I'm gonna do real quickly is just take the bit up like this and then uh, extend it here and maybe uh, keyframe the thing here and the scale. Uh, so do like maybe 98, a 98 scale, and then go from uh, upwards and then go down and down like this and then maybe zoom it in like by five ticks and then maybe go like this and then go like that so as you can see um the glitch transition is kind of working here 
Um, one thing I'll do is I'll put like a little bit of hotspot. I'll put some like a uh, hotspot on it officially and then we'll kind of make it look like that, which makes it look cool. Um, the what you can do with the background is you could like, um, you could actually adjust the background here too. Since there's a lot of white scan line here, you could add a little bit of glow. Um, I think, I wonder where I put the glow actually. Um, no, actually right here. Uh, put the glow on the hotspot layer and then just like rack the, um, rack the, um, these, uh, the radius up and you can mess with the um, intensity if you want. Right, so that looks cool. So when you play it back, it looks like this. And um, essentially now we have to kind of figure out how we're gonna get the reflection of the um, first clip into the second clip here as we want it to be more fluid. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, a motion detect. Um, I'm gonna put motion detect on this. Oh, first let me copy and paste, yeah. We're gonna put motion detect on this layer and we're gonna put this on difference. And then we're gonna like, we're gonna put this on difference and then we're gonna continue to make sure that we have like like that. And then we're gonna put this on motion only. Yeah, motion only. And we could do this, um, put a little bit of Omino diffusion with some CC threshold. So I'll put uh, CC threshold on there. I, I'll put the RGB one because it's easier. Omino diffusion. This is where I use effects um, like other plugins. This is a really good plugin. I hope you guys use this, it's really fun. Um, Put this put the error aside to 0.005, I think. No, is it is it zero or did I do nine? No, I put the red threshold uh, all the way down. That's what I did, yeah. And then uh, we can put this here and then we can like make a reflect we can make like a soft light uh, fade out here. Right? I think that's what I did, yeah. Okay. And then Next thing I'll do just to kind of like balance it out is I'll put a shake. Um, this might actually be the last thing I do because putting the shake here is um, probably the easiest thing <laughs> to explain. I haven't done tutorials in a while too, so. But um, essentially, I think I'm gonna put it above every layer. Um, I think you just go like this. Try to find it, yeah. Try to find the one that works. And you can turn up the thing here. Let me turn off the motion blur. I put this usually the six for this example, but um, I think I need to put a different seat though. This isn't looking good. This isn't looking good. I'm gonna put this to one. I'm gonna put this from like uh, 1.2 down and take it down and bring this downwards and all that. So essentially, when you're all said and done, um, I think also my graph, my graph's really tight here. I don't know why it has like no impact. Hold on. Yeah, so essentially that's the idea. And you and to basically what we could do here is I could add like a um I could add a little dissolve bloomer just to show you guys what it is. Um I could go like this as well. And um I can add some displacement map. I'm gonna add some displacement map here. And uh yeah, this should work. This actually yeah, okay. Th yeah, that should work. That's basically a glitch transition I like to do. And um once it goes from here, as you can see, it closes, it doesn't displace from map, then it goes here. I could just put this to difference actually, because the thing is, it's gonna have to like go into, yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Or maybe screen, uh, maybe not screen. Um, maybe, I don't know what I wanna do with this one actually. This would be, let me not, let me not do one. Do, 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 do. Uh, subtract maybe uh yeah actually i think subtract works yeah subtract does work so essentially i started learning with this one too actually because i was trying to recreate the one in the example but as you guys can see this is a uh, good transition um uh, of course with better scales and better uh, shakes this will look nicer um and then you can like go into another uh, scene with this um i don't know if you want to i don't think copying the same layers and effects would be a good idea but that's just the idea is you have um, a glitch transition done, right? So uh, 
uh, if you guys like this tutorial, please let me know. I have I don't try I don't do tutorials as much anymore because there's not a lot I want to make. Uh, but if you guys um, want a tutorial, let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys being here. I we hit the partner program a while um, like a week or two ago. That was a huge accomplishment for me and my my cause. And I hope you guys understand that that was really really big for me. Even if it doesn't really mean much in the long, in the big in the short run, since you know YPP has to like um, you have to build your channel still. But it was awesome. I I, I love that accomplishment. If you guys want to, um, on in, in this video, um, I actually have with all of my other ones now. If you want to send me a donation directly through the video, you can. Just go to the I think you, when you go to the share button, you want to um, press the arrows and you want to. Um, continue to you see the uh, the, the don't I think it's donate or thanks button I, I forget what it is it has like a heart with a s money symbol on it you guys can send me a donation there if you'd really like to so yeah um I would really appreciate it but for now uh, I hope this uh, tutorial helped you um, I wanted to make this one because I felt like it would be a really good idea I had it on my list for a while but um, hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching I'll play it back one more time and uh, yeah um, hope you guys have a good day or night. Uh, goodbye. Uh, peace. Thank you.